Are you struggling to see results with calisthenics and bodyweight training? Well, stay tuned my friend because right now I'm going to explain to you why this is the case. Crew members, welcome back to the channel friends. How you doing today? If this is your first time here on this channel though, you need to subscribe to the channel now and turn on post notifications because if you're new to body training and calisthenics, this is your home of body weight strength training. So make sure to hit that button and turn on that bell. So the problem you're having with gaining results with calisthenics is actually most likely linked to the reason as to why you got into calisthenics in the first place. The beauty of this style of training is that there's so many goals and there's so much variety you can focus on. So when there's so many goals you can focus on and achieve, you then fall into the trap of trying to achieve all of those goals goals at the same time. So what happens when you try and focus on too many things at once, you then go beyond your limited recovery capacity and actually then make the ultimate mistake of failing to recover properly. And so when you actually fail to recover properly between each workout, you're then going to experience slow and a stall in progress, even a decline in performance potentially, as well as making yourself more prone and vulnerable to injuries. So right now I'm going to go through the three critical steps that not only fix any recovery issues you may be having, but also so you can actually improve your recovery long term so that you can make more gains. Right, so the first step is to have a deload week. Now, after weeks of intense training, your CNS is going to deplete over time. And as your body's ability to accumulate fatigue diminishes, the deload week is pretty much going to be your tool so your body can fully recover and replenish adequately to then go into the next training cycle fresh so you can continue getting stronger each and every workout. As well as experiencing a decline in performance, if you're also experiencing similar symptoms like mood changes, appetite changes, poor sleep quality, no motivation to train, and even experiencing pains and aches around your body, it's time to rest up, my friend. In fact, you've actually probably decided to deload too late, but you know, let's actually try and kill the monster before it gets too big. So deload frequencies is going to range based on several factors, you know, like age, gender, but mainly it's going to influence based on your training experience. So beginners may feel they only need to deload, you know, once every six to 12 weeks, whereas more advanced athletes tend to deload around every four to six weeks. So four to 12 weeks, tends to be that range in which you should be deloading and taking one week of your training to recover adequately. And there's many ways you can deload, but usually the rule of thumb I stick to and the rule of thumb I also advocate to my clients is to basically keep all the exercise the same, do the same intensity, but half the volume. So a standard example being of this is if you do a four sets of an exercise, you do two sets of it instead. If you do three sets of an exercise, you do two, but you make sure that you spread the total reps evenly so that you do half the reps that you do usually, so that you're only doing about 50% of your usual volume. As well, as this is a deload of time to recover, you do not want to train to muscular failure to any extent. Now, when you actually deload at the right time, you're going to allow your body to super compensate and fully recover so that by the time you actually get into the next training cycle, you're going to be able to then continuously progress stronger and stronger. You may actually find that after a deload week, you may actually be stronger than you were before because your CNS is so much fresher. Another option is that if you're seriously blown out, you can actually then just take a week off. However, usually a deload is advised because it maintains the habits, the good habits of sticking to a workout routine, as well as maintaining the motor patterns and control of the exercise you're performing in your workouts. When you learn to deload right, it seriously becomes a true art. Number two, of course, you get it, get in your sleep. And the most ironic thing with sleep is that we are actually the most anabolic during deep periods of sleep. So you know, if you get in seven to nine good quality hours of sleep at night, that's not only going to you know set you up for a good solid day, it's also going to ensure that you recover properly and better for your workouts you do throughout the week. Now the usual recommendations that I give to my clients, the three main things we like to follow to ensure we get the best possible sleep is to one, go to bed at similar times as this, you know, maintains the right habits and optimizes our sleep quality. So if you're aiming for eight hours of sleep a night and you wake up at seven o'clock in the morning, set yourself a goal to get into bed by 11 at night. Second tip is to block off any light. So, you know, blacked out curtains or one thing I like to do to get the job done is use my nice comfy Christmas eye mask to get the job done. Then number three, linked to blocking out light, you also want to block out blue light around an hour before bed. And usually during this time, you can take the time, you know, settle down, prime your body to actually sleep properly and optimally. Or, you know, you can read a book, 
you can journal, basically anything that relaxes your mind so that you can actually fall asleep the moment your head hits the pillow. And number three, prioritize your goals. Now, as I said at the start of the video, if you're failing to recover adequately, it's probably because you're trying to achieve too many goals at once. And with calisthenics, the three main areas in which most people like to focus on is strength, skills, and mobility. Now, you only have a limited recovery capacity. So, although you know everyone's made this mistake sometime in the past, it's illogical to think that you can actually excel in all three areas of those at the same time. So, you want to focus on what is most suitable for you and what you want to achieve mostly right now. So, you want to almost ask yourself the question of what's the one thing so that if I was to achieve this now, everything else will take care of itself. So you know, why not? Let's take myself as an example. So last year when I was going through all the injuries and imbalances I was experiencing, I couldn't really optimize, of course, my progress in strength and any skill work. So I did all the mobility work I could do pain free. And then as I was recovering from my injuries around December to February time, I focused primarily on building strength and muscle hypertrophy. And then after that, between you know, as of February to around now, I've been focusing more on handstands by you know actually doing a handstand session before every workout I do throughout the week. Now, although yes, this does actually impact overall my maximal strength and ability to progress in my strength training, it's simply a sacrifice I have to take in order to progress faster in the handstand. But at the same time, I also know that this is necessary because the handstand is a skill that I need to achieve for not only conditioning myself for more advanced bodyweight exercises, but also more advanced bodyweight strength moves, i.e. the handstand push-up. So as you can imagine, I actually made significantly more progress in all three of these areas when given a primary focus separately for a prolonged period of time, rather than spreading my focus in all three at the same time and then getting you know average or very little results in each area so work smarter recover harder and you will finally see and gain the results you desire so with that said if you enjoyed this video you like my content you enjoy watching every single minute and every single second of this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below that this video came with good hands and also i'd be curious to know you know what other topics and areas do you want me to address in future videos because if you've got problems i got solutions so make sure to leave that down in the comment section below and i may make a video on it and so as that is enough for me today i hope you enjoy the rest of your day my friend and as a crew member of the gainster express Keep moving forward, my friend.